गुड मॉर्निंग आय एम रविकुमार अवसरे आय एम टीचिंग इकॉनॉमिक्स इन सद्गुरु गाडगे महाराज कॉलेज कराग लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ इकॉनॉमिक्स वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर स्टूडेंट टू लर्न इकॉनॉमिक्स इन द इवन दैट लेक्चर आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट इकॉनॉमिक्स फॉर एक्जाम्पल्स इन इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड इकॉनॉमिक्स इज देयर फॉर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंड इकॉनॉमिक्स फॉर एफ वाई एस वाई टी वाई इवन समवेयर यू कैन फाइन फॉर एम कॉम ऑल्सो वन पेपर इज देयर फॉर इकॉनॉमिक्स सो इन लास्ट लेक्चर आई डिस्कस अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ इकॉनॉमिक्स नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर आई वुड एक्सप्लेन द कंटेंट और वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर स्टूडेंट टू लर्न इकॉनॉमिक्स और वॉट इज देयर इन अ बुक फॉर इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड नाउ यू माइट हैव सीन अबाउट द बुक now some students they have taken purchase books see here very interesting cover page of your book see here note it is here it is 100 rupee note is there so here again they have plot about about the agriculture about the science farmer is there again some industrial development is there so each and everything is there in this picture so when you see this picture carefully you can understand that importance is given for money also for other activities for all of the activities which are related with economics so very interesting page cover is there again if you see the back back cover of your page that is here development of infrastructure that is aeroplane is there again some agriculture farmers farmers industrialist they have shown each each and everything here for one one photograph is there for aeroplane one photograph is for agriculture women working in the agriculture so you can see there are very interesting back cover also and very interesting front page also that is about the money so now in this lecture again i am going to explain how you can use this book, book or what is there in your book or what is expectation of a government from a student who is studying in 11th standard now first with the help of some points i will explain why it is important to learn economics or what is expected from a student within 11th standard or general i will explain what is there in this book how you can use this book okay now first what is the expectation from a student who is learning in 11th standard or is having some kind of good first for number one that is it is about aim of this book is to create awareness awareness about dynamic changes about dynamic changes are changes are there in indian economy taking place in taking place in indian economy indian economy what is the aim of this book aim of this book is to create awareness is to awareness in students about dynamic changes what kind of changes are there are there in, in taking place in indian economy now you can understand that see in 1947 we got some kind of we got independence so british had they left our india our country in 1947 what is economic condition of our country in 1947 and india in 2020 is it same can you say that in india in 1947 is the same with india in 2020 no definitely there is some kind of development so what are the changes that is taking place in indian economy it is important or the syllabus the new syllabus is going to focus that the student they should understand what are the new changes that are taking place in indian economy the student for in indian can they should know something or some points which are related with indian economy all the changes there in indian economy whether really india is progress there some kind of progress in india so you can understand by using this book that, that is about the what is there in indian economy okay second point about first time first time economics and separate first time economics as a separate separate and independent subject independent subject 
That is, the government has introduced economics for 11 standard as a separate and independent subject. Now, what is there for happening? That is, for example, up to 10. Up to 10, you have learned economics with the help of geography or in, with the help of mathematics. You know some terms in this subject, in geography and maths, but you haven't learned economics as a separate subject. In this year, you are going to learn economics as a separate and independent subject. So it is interest that the student, they should know something, some points which are related with Indian economy, or it is important to give some information for a student who is studying in 11th standard. So it is first time economics is introduced as a separate and independent subject. Now, third point, what will be very special for you? That is, unable students to understand, unable students to understand, students to understand, Various concept, various concepts, various concepts thoroughly thoroughly and correlate to it with practical life. Practical life. What is the aim of this book? It is unable students to understand various concepts. So in this book or here, in this year, you are going to learn many terms. Here, the main intention, that is, this book is going to enable students to understand various concepts which are related or which are there in economics. It is not possible to see all the things in first year also. But here, it is important that the student, they should have some kind of idea what they are going to learn or what how what is what is the content of sales or what is expected from thing so it is important to enable students to understand various concepts thoroughly and you should not only read about the concept how you can use that concept with your life with the practical importance is also important whether these things are really important for your life or whether you are going to use that thing in your life practical importance how you are going to correlate these things with your life you are going to learn this thing from this book that is enable students to understand various concepts thoroughly and with correlate all these things with your practical life. Now point number four that is about new syllabus. New syllabus focuses You say focuses realistic approach. Realistic approach. Realistic approach. Which is to solve. To solve real world problems. Real world problems. Now see, with the help of this new syllabus, this new syllabus is going to focus at the realistic approach. What is there in reality? Economists are always going to say what is, the, what is in reality. So the student, they can understand the reality of economic matters or how, what kind of in the economy is there, whether in economy have some kind of good things or whether economy there is some kind of slowdown. Now see, we are facing the problem of Corona, COVID-19. So what kind of situations are there? Whether the world is going to face problem or whether the Indian economy is going to face some kind of problem. It is in reality you are going to see all these things and this new syllabus is going to help students to understand or to understand the realistic approach and to solve real world problems. What are the problems are there? For example, if you see the problem, basic problems. In last lecture, I discussed about the basic problem. What kind of basic problem for our country? There is a population is there, poverty is there, unemployment is there. Okay, these are some basic problems which India is going to face at this stage. So you can understand or you should have some kind of idea about these problems. It is called as a, how do you are going to solve real world problems or realistic 
apparatus. Point number four. Point number five is about economic concept. We are going to learn here some economic concepts. In this book, we are going to learn about some economic concepts. Some economic concepts. Concepts. Make money. Money. Economic growth. Economic growth. Economic. Economic development. Economic development. Economic reforms. Economic reforms. Economic reforms. Economic planning. Economic planning. Economic planning. Statistics. Discuss the in detail. Discuss the in. In this year, you are going to see some new concepts. There is some economic concepts are there. For example, concept of money. What do you mean by money? We know importance of money, but in you don't know about the definition of money. So you are going to learn about the what do you mean by money? What is definition of money? Whether uh, what kind of functions of money? You are going to learn all these things here. Again, you are going to see some economic for some new terms that is economic growth. What do you mean by economic growth? How you are going to attain economic growth? What do you mean by economic development? How you are going to attain economic development? At the same time, what do you mean by economic reforms? What kind of reforms are there? What kind of what is important for planning? Whether planning is very important, economic planning. You are going to see about the economic planning. What is the importance of economic planning? At the same time, here one separate chapter is there that is about the statistics. Chapter number third is going to discuss about the statistics. Very purposefully, this chapter has been introduced in twelfth in Indian standard. And you are going to discuss. There is some kind of functions like mean, median, mode. You are going to learn all these terms in chapter number third in detail, so that you should have some kind of idea. So these points are very important. With the help of these points, you are going to see the functions of each and everything in this book. It's very important concepts are there. Now, point number six. That is about. See, each and everything is very important. You see, you should read all the things. It is important that you should have some kind of idea about all the concept. Again, this textbook shows this textbook throws some kind of light, light upon light upon very challenges. various challenges various challenges before indian economy before indian economy see this textbook is going to throw some kind of light upon various challenges before indian economy within very few minutes i explain that is you know that about i i explain The points, the challenges, some challenges are there. For example, for India, the problem problem of poverty is there. Problem of population, extra poor. You know that India is second largest country in the world, having great population after China. India it has got second number for population. Problem of population, problem of poverty, problem of unemployment, problem of proper infrastructure. So there are so many problems. So here, this textbook throws light upon various challenges. What kind of challenges are there? You should not only say about this is a problem, problem of population. But what is important as an economist, or you are going to study economy, it is important how you are going to solve that problem. Suppose problem of poverty is there, how you are going to minimize poverty? What what do you mean by absolute poverty? What do you mean by relative poverty? So there should be some kind of, or there should be some kind of explanation how you are going to solve this problem. What current challenges are there before Indian economy? As a citizen, I as a People of this country is important to understand, or it, we must know all these problems. What kind of problems are there for our country, or what kind of problems our country India is facing at this stage? So you will learn all these things. Okay, textbook is going to throw some light upon this point. Now, 
point number seven that is about first time. First time or first time for first time various activities introduced uh, various activities are introduced are introduced help or help to develop develop content knowledge content knowledge content knowledge also provide scope and also provide scope also provide scope gaining relevant gaining relevant gaining relevant and additional knowledge additional knowledge first time in this book various activities are introduced so when you see when you understand when you are going to learn when you are going to observe your textbook you can understand that there are various activities are introduced so the student they they should not only read the book but they should there some other activities it is important to see these activities or you have some you should develop your you should have some discussion with your friends you you should make your groups and here these activities are to be discussed it is important for a student to make group in various activities are introduced to help or to develop content knowledge for example suppose money is there concept of money is there so what do you mean by money what is the function of money whether these functions are really uh, important or whether you are going to use that functions in your day to day life so content knowledge is very important you have to use that knowledge in your life again and also provide scope gaining relevant and additional knowledge whenever there is some kind point you should uh, if when you see your book you can understand there is one concept that is do you know you should do these concepts are there here it is important that relevant and additional knowledge you will gain some kind of relevant and additional knowledge so focus is there that the student they should know or they should have some kind of knowledge they should not only read or they, they should not only recite they should not only uh, by heart the problem but they should know that it is important for their life also and how they are going to use these things in their practical life okay this for the first time again next point that is about ample scope for activity point number 8 that is about ample scope ample scope for activity for activity ample scope for activity based learn activity based learn learning group learning that is group discussion it is about group discussions self learning self learning which can self learning here there is scope for student for activity based learning i can mention that if you form your groups suppose four or four four or five students are there they will be make some kind of group and if they are going to discuss their points they are when they are going to read some point when they are going to discuss that point in group in group it is important or they can easily understand they can easily remember all the points which are there so group learning is there group discussion is there and it will definitely help for self learning so the focus or aim of this book is also there for that is there should be some kind of group formation the student they should discuss their problems in their group and they should have some kind of self learning also this is also expected from you okay point number 9 that is here very simple here very simple 
example and lucid language when you go through this book what we, what will you observe the language of this book is very uh, very easy very student form common the student belongs to rural area can also understand uh, it is not possible that your student for come from convent area or from convent school some people they belongs to poor family or they are coming from rural background so when you read you can find that language is very easy very lucid language is there uh, they hear not so difficult words are there so common student can understand or common student can read the book very interestingly so very lucid and very simple language is there uh, there is no difficult words are from some words the difficult but you can easily use dictionary you can have some kind of uh, you can use dictionary and you can see the meaning of these words but otherwise overall the book is very good there is some kind of lucid language very some kind of easy language there so very really, very easily you can read the book very lucid and simple language again that is what is there in this book here relevant diagrams are there relevant diagrams diagrams relevant diagrams graphs tables graphs tables graphs tables are there on text tree brings more clarity understanding more clarity understanding understanding various term various terminology and about economic concept economic concept so when you see when you when you are going to see when you are going to see about this concept that is you can see when you go through this book what do you see relevant diagrams are there for your understanding for p for student we are going to use the book some graphs are there some tables are there and on this book brings more clarity of understanding when you see one diagram definitely there should not be any kind of doubt in your mind if you see one graph then you can understand understand for clear understanding graphs are there diagrams are there tables are there so that a common student can understand each and every concept and also various terminology in economic concepts okay and last point that is about at last there is some kind of glossary is there Yeah, you can find glossary that the economic some economic terms are there different words also provided at the ends. So when you go at the last, you can what what you are going to observe that the glossary is there. At the, you can see about the economic terms there. Difficult words are also provided so that you can read that these words and you can have some kind of understanding of these words. So very briefly, I explain all the points. What is expected or what is aim of this book or what is expect government is going to expect from you. first time it separate subject is there economics you are going to read economics you are going to learn economics separately so it is a very interesting if you take interest definitely you will understand each and every concept and you can use that concept in practical life okay thank you very much